Let's check out what dynamic voltage frequency scaling DVFS is. In this methodology, we can reduce the power in the chip by scaling down the voltage or frequency when the peak performance is not required. There are certain requirements to achieve this methodology. You need a variable power supply capable of generating required voltage levels with minimal transition energy losses and a quick voltage transient response. Also, when you are scaling the voltage, you must scale the frequency in the same proportion to meet the signal propagation delay requirements. Though DVFS is a very efficient methodology, certain drawbacks are associated with this. Due to several component considerations like appropriate voltage and frequency values, it isn't easy to implement. It is expensive to implement, and clock scheduling issues arise due to dynamic latency changes in this method. Dynamic Voltage Frequency Scaling DVFS reduces the power in the chip by scaling down the voltage and frequency when peak performance is not required. A design using DVFS can be seen as a special case of an MSV design that operates in multiple design modes. And these multiple modes need to be analyzed and optimized for the multiple corners. As in this example, there are various domains, core, drowsy and dull, mentioned in the block. You have various modes, baseline, slow, and standby modes, defined for the voltages and frequency of the design. And accordingly, you need to have the libraries associated with these modes and corners. In a DVFS design, some portions can dynamically change to other voltages depending on the design mode or can even be switched off. Consequently, a DVFS design must satisfy different constraints and different design modes. If we take this example, you have library domain D1 associated with voltage V1 and library domain D2 associated with voltage V2. There are two power modes and corresponding two SDCs for the power modes, PM1 and PM2. Power mode 1 corresponds to power domain PD1 and operating voltage V1. And PM2 is associated with power domain PD1 and operating voltage V2. So, in your design, you have different library domains, different power modes for different voltages, and different SDCs. For DVFS implementation and synthesis, you need to provide all this information.